Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Those Who Crawl, which is a horror game where you must crawl and climb for some tight cave tunnels that may or may not be filled with monsters. I had become foul, a putrid scrap of flesh. Now, I crawled like an insect, fearing no escape from what I was. So a big gimmick of this game is they mention there's a crawling system. And I think that's why there's two... Oh yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. That's, I like that. Optionally use Q or E keys. It's more of like a direct crawl. So it does, it does actually go where your cursor is. Yeah, so left one obviously is left hand, right hand. And you can crawl with just one hand to kind of get yourself around corners. Uh, they also said that they want to make a VR version of this. I like that'd be interesting. Oh no, water. That's real bad and dangerous. <laughs> Get up, eat air. Air. Ooh. Hold down both buttons to look down to pull up. Oh, cool. If you actually, um, hold on, we got to get a little methodical of this. And there's like a little bit of different momentum too, so it's not like linear, how I'd say fake. Oh man. I'm gonna use handholds. Get up! Get me up! Get me up! Okay. Okay, I'm over the. Oh, no, I'm not over the ledge yet. Pull myself up. Get over here. Where can I... Can I reach you, buddy? You can get up there. We have very long arms. Okay. Over here. That counts as a handhold. There. Gotta pull myself over here first. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Thought was forgiveness. This doesn't look like cave moss. Hmm. And it has a texture. Are we, uh... 
Are we sure we're in a cave and not in the the throat of a monster? <laughs> myself a little more to the left. Yeah, there's like... I f it feels like we're in someone's throat. It really, I, I'm wondering, that's gonna be the twist. We'll see. Okay. Pull myself over. The, the tricky part with, um... Pull myself up. As I, I need to make sure, like, I don't let go when I transition the hands. Okay, I think I'm latched on. Yep, yep. No, we're in we're in, we're in a spot. Okay. Come up here. Pull myself up. Up, 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 up. Up. Hey, hey. That counts. Okay, reach in. There we go. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Cave is getting a little narrower. Well, cave, quotation mark. Press space to interact. Why? Okay, th this is definitely a meat wall. I've seen some meat walls in my time. Charge stab. Well, I can use it as like a interesting, and I just wasted it. <laughs> Messing with the mechanic because I was like, ah, I can stab things. Oh no. Okay. Pull myself up over this. Whoa, boy. What is that? Was not normal. Hold space and ivory button to use knife. No. I have to stab the flesh walls. Okay, I think I got a grip. We're good. I did see we, we were storing multiple knives though, which is a good thing. I was worried there's gonna be like an ammo uh overkill issue. Yeah, this is not a normal cave. This is a bloodstream. 
If we're lucky. No, actually, no, that's unlucky. White blood cells. Okay. I went exactly the wrong way, didn't I? Okay, where am I? Well, this is a dead end. Um, but I, I'm not sure if error is a mechanic, but I just like instinctively win here anyways. Myself up if I can. It looks like we're having a bit of a hard time. Yeah, okay, the area is a mechanic, by the way. It's because. Okay. I'm gonna do this. I can't. I can't. There we go. It just... They wanted to, um... What was happening is they wanted to keep grabbing the lower ledge rather than the upper ledge. We found the way out. Oh man, more water. Water can be used to evade enemies? What? Enemies. I don't even know the beginning to know what that is. It was like a cube finger spider skeleton thing. I mean, look at that. It's like our arms are getting like longer. Utilize doors to hide or escape from what? I ain't afraid. What's a cube spider gonna do to me? Cube me? No, seriously, nothing's coming. You're never truly safe. It might have just been explaining that in the future, if something chases me, I can like... Hide. I don't even know what I mean to hide. Yeah, like I hear it. But. That is a cube spider. Ow! Well. Here's the thing. Where do we even go? Cube spider! Cube spider! I'm gonna try to beat it at the pass. I'm assuming there's like a fork right here. Yeah, they don't like water. Okay, we're good. It might be because the terrain is kind of complicated, but we're definitely like losing momentum. Whoa, boy. We need air pretty soon. Yes, yes, I know. 
eat people. Okay, pull myself over. Stitch doors require knives open. Well, I do have a knife. This feels dangerous. I don't have knives. I guess I could consume like a key. Boy, this is a maze. Up, up, up. Here we go. We got company. Okay, go behind the cave. Um, meat door. Now, if we wait, we should be able to just... Nope! Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad, 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 bad meat spider. Bad meat spider. We may die here. I am, I'm literally stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You have died. That's where we need to go. I'm blitzing it because it went down. Yeah, so it consumes your knives like a key. So it's a way for them to like take away the knives from you and put you into like, say, a uh, scripted event, as you saw there. Oh god. Let me just oh I'm getting stuck again. Ow. Water. You're afraid of water, right? Unironically, they're afraid of water. Yeah, this looks like whoa, hello there. They have hands. Ow, 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 they're not that afraid of water. I'm being dragged along. I'm being eaten alive. This well looks pretty deep. I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Let's try to pull ourselves up. Get some air. There's another knife there. Now, where is my actual objective? Ow. Take him back, back. Spider no like hurt hurt. With that, I become top of the food chain. <laughs> Man gets pointy stick, becomes loner of this land. Animals suddenly go extinct. Okay. Looks like this is a stabbing. Yeah, I cannot grab anything. Whoa.
We need to get through with this one. Two knives. Pull myself up. Come on. There you go. I think four knives is the cap. Looks like it. Whoa. Okay. Don't want to fall. Oh, great, I'm about to die. Things about to collapse on me. No, we're gonna drown. We are gonna drown. Unless I start climbing. I'm not gonna climb up, up, racy. Come on, grab. You're almost there. Oh. God, it's like that one. What's this? What's this Disney movie? It was Rescue? Was it Rescue Rangers? No. It was the one with the um. The mice. And they gotta save the girl from, uh, she's like, she's on a boat. And there's a scene where she, like, goes into, like, a well cave where there's, like, pirate treasure. And the water is, like, raising up. And, like, that seems, like, really scary for a Disney movie. I, I always, I remember that. Uh, that's what that made me think of. I think it was Disney. That sounds like... a thing. Is destroying my speakers? You need to cut that out. Uh, it's gonna be muted for the actual playthrough to save you that because it was literally a speaker killer. Like, it bugged out. Like, the sound was so distorted. It was... It's like I said, that's the thing that fries her headset. No. I'm just going for it. Whoa. I think we're in the clear. Hopefully this is the way we're supposed to go. Can't really tell. All meat walls look the same to me. I mean, I see water here. That seems like progress. Oh, no. Well, I got air here. I need a stabby stab to go for that one door. Gotta go faster, bro. Come on, you do it. Climb. Come on. You're almost there. Oof. Air. I'll go near. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop it. Stop biting me. I'm not tasty. Okay. Navigating the cave. Navigating the cave. Oh. Pokey poke. Hand hand. Is this still behind? Oh god. That answers that question. Is it still behind you? Yeah, I'm, I'm at you, I'm on top of you. It's like, oh. Oh. Come on, come on, move a little faster, my friend. It can't go in the water, I think, maybe. I don't know. It was like a giant hand. Ooh. Okay, some poking sticks. Sweet. Oh, 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 okay, that was a pit. I thought we were going down. Oops. Okay, so... Stab. Stab. Great. There is something evil behind me, under me. I am assuming it's evil anyway. A little closer. Um, I can't open this one. Okay, it's gone. Yeah, it's not the, um, hand spiders. I think it's just a hand. They've evolved. It's like, it's, you know, it's evolution, right? Like in one of those type of games. There was no answer. So I cut out the part that banged. Hmm. Chased by a hand, and there's a giant hand in front of me. It's also got an eye on it, which is usually symbolic, you know, for like... God or something like that. I silence that which loathes. Hey. Now only one thing, that which makes me what I am. One foul design. Whoa, we are weird. I crawl.
Interesting how the, uh... Oh, no, jump scare. Interesting how the hand being stabbed turned everything, like, white, like it just died. So, that's it for those who crawl. I think this is a creative horror game. I think it's got a little interesting gimmick. It's got some scares, although the scares do get repetitive a little bit. So, if you were playing this game and you weren't just, like, watching it with some editing and stuff like that, it is a bit of a tedious game. The mechanic is interesting, but it does get kind of tiring to use over the span of the, the 40 so or minutes or length of the game. I think it's a little more than that. And I think this is also a byproduct of slower mechanics. So instinctively, if you ever play a video game, right, you always want to move efficiently. You always want to move faster. Like your mind will instantly go to that. That's why people constantly do the little roll dashes and things when they're playing like Zelda. Or they bunny hop the places. Because instinctively, they're, they're constantly trying to maintain higher momentum. So you'll just just start doing it while you're thinking about it. So while you do get the hang of this eventually, you do move a little bit faster. There is like a momentum, subtle kind of system based on the terrain. So once you got to the meat world, there was a lot of ups and downs and hills and little like ledges. So like I said, it kind of made everything a little bit tedious. Especially since like some of the meat halls started looking very samey. And then you only had like one enemy throughout the... Uh, entire game except for like the finale so that's kind of what i mean but it had a great atmosphere it had a great feel to it overall it's like how the concept kind of worked and i think it's a unique indie horror game it's not really going down like a generic kind of like route if you know what i mean also the creatures are kind of weird and in, in a cool way so i liked it like i said my main complaints are I wouldn't really outright call them criticisms because this is a free indie horror game. They're made kind of short. It's like I said, the pace and the um, limited enemy count. Because the world is very alien and seeing more of that alien world and those weird creatures and everything would be kind of interesting. Uh, story, I do wonder if this was symbolism for something else. Like it's not a literal meat cave world. It could be actually. Although there is still the symbolic understory. Like part of me was debating, was this someone kind of cutting out religion or God out of their life? Because the, the hand or the eye is sometimes used in that kind of symbolism. And of the way the world kind of died and turned white afterward. And our protagonist's words in the end. It could also be something about like cutting yourself off from a more parental kind of figure. Like a family kind of thing. I, I feel like that was a... There was like a little bit of a theme there at the ending. And crawling and like tight caves and stuff, you know, can be taken as like the constricting of your life and your world by other forces and the setting you're in. That's if it's if it's a symbolic story. Like it, it could be a literal story, as in it could be a literal meat cave, but like a meat cave could be a stand-in or something. Note that when I say stuff like this, I'm not saying this literally that's the story. It's just kind of like throwing out little ideas, kind of like at the dart boards. Eh, maybe one of these is going to kind of stick. It could just be like a Lovecraft in me cave, you know? But yeah, anyway. So, thank you for watching play Those Who Crawl. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.